Many children in Japan have grown up watching cartoons such as Astro Boy and Doraemon. The characters in the stories lived alongside robots. Now, some students in Kyoto are doing the same thing. They're taking part in an experiment. And it's not science fiction. NHK World's Akihisa Sugawa reports. So tell us, Robo V, what happened? In this science class, the students pay close attention even during difficult lessons. One of their classmates is helping them to learn science. His name is Robobi. The robot came to this school in Kyoto last year. Today, he's assisting with an experiment in the science club. Robobi is a partially autonomous robot developed for a research program in the communications between humans and robots. It has a wireless connection to an external computer and can draw on pre-programmed data to respond to questions. The faces and voices of all of the sixth grade students are stored in Robobee's database. If someone asks an unexpected question, there's always an operator on hand to input the answer. <laughs> He's a genius, but he talks to us in a normal way, so he's more like a friend. Obobi has proven a great hit with the children. They interact with him wearing we says. Initially, they were keener just to talk with Robobi than to ask questions about science. But as they got used to him, the number of science-related questions started to rise. Even students who are shy in class are starting to ask him lots of questions. Some students don't want to ask the teacher because they're afraid of seeming ignorant, but they seem to feel comfortable directing their questions to a robot. Now, some students have been inspired to create their own robots and even do their own programming. However, some limitations are apparent. Wobobi can recognize individual children, but when several students speak at once, sometimes it freezes. Wobobi was made at ATR, the Advanced Telecommunications International Research Institute in Kyoto. The researchers are using real-life situations like this to figure out what improvements are needed. It still finds it hard to process some information accurately, such as who is speaking and where they are. But we hope the data we've collected through this experiment will help us solve all of those problems. The premise shown by this program is prompting schools to consider expanding the use of robots, such as for teaching English. In the future, robots might join students to encourage them to study harder. Aki Hisatsugawa, NHK World, Kyoto.